all right guys welcome to another rushdown rant i'm michael and this rant is going to be talking about a genre that i can't even say it's near and dear to my heart because actually it's a genre that's like the bane of my video game experience and that's why it's a call are the 2d platformer slash side scrollers i guess 2d platformer side scroller would probably be the best way of describing these games uh what you see right now this is actually show number three for the sake of genesis a game that i've never beaten i've tried my hardest to beat this game um i'm really really bad at jumping and knowing when to jump um and how to jump like properly across certain places and traversing um funny enough i'm actually a lot better at 3d platformers than i am 2d which you would think you know 2d is more you know linear and it's easier no it's not for me it's not um when it comes to like these type of games so mario and some of the older sonic games i'm not Particularly all that great at playing and I'm actually am really terrible at platforms in general but that's not the point of this particular video um this video is about what I'm starting to notice now recently is a resurgence in this actual genre of video gaming um I've actually seen a lot of platformers lately and specifically 2d platforms I think a lot of indie developers have decided to make that um I won't say a go-to genre but it's something that you know we're in this stage where a lot of developers especially indie ones are starting to try to go back and you know do a lot of retro inspired games which is not bad you know that's a genre that a lot of people love and if the pick it back to you know the the roots and the history of video gaming as we know it before i think it got really complicated and you know sometimes convoluted depending on the developer but that's neither here nor there um yeah, so I'm seeing a lot of indie developers that have gone into making these type of games. Okay, right here is um, X-Men for the Super Nintendo, a game I love dearly, um, even though I'm not, I've never beaten it either. But that's not the point. It's just something for right now. Oh, God, look at Psylocke go. She's so awesome. But anyway, back to the subject at hand, which is 2D platformers and 2D side-scrollers. Um, a lot of companies or franchises have actually switched over from the side scroller to more of a 3d look especially games like you know mario for better or worse sonic even though majority of the sonic games have been really i wouldn't say bad but just haven't been all that great i don't want to disparage sonic because i'm actually a fan of the series but even more so uh castlevania and some would actually argue that the 3d ones have been not nearly as good as the 2d side scrolling castlevania games have been but a lot of companies are moving closer to more of a 3D um, style for their games now. Because I guess they feel like 2D games are obsolete. Especially 2D South Brawlers. But it's nice to see that there's actually you know, a resurgence of this genre. And I'm hoping that these few games that's coming out later this year are actually going to be able to, I guess, help continue on this whole new resurgence of 2D platform and side scrollers. So let's look at those games. All right, so this game here is Abyss Odyssey, and it's actually developed by the same guys who came up with Xenoclash um, 18. Um, this is a really cool side-scrolling action-adventure game. Um, it has randomly generated dungeons, and it's supposedly really intuitive as far as how the dungeons are like generated. And continue to keep you guessing and keep you um, on your toes when you're going through this game, actually. Um, so far, it looks really cool. Um, Atlas is publishing the game. Now, this is the part I would like the most, which is the fighting element of the game. They want to add a very deep fighting game engine into the game, so it's not just, you know, fight enemy one, random enemy number two. Actually, every fight is actually pretty intense each time you go into play in this game so i thought that was really cool um i actually love fighting games in general so having such a deep fighting game element is actually going to make me more excited um this part is you're going to be taking control of actual enemies and use them in battle you know to aid you against you know fighting other enemies so i think that's a cool aspect too using enemy skills so i'm pretty excited about this odyssey as for the most part uh, i can't wait to actually get a chance to play it the next game we have here is Child of Light, which is going to be developed by Ubisoft Montreal. They're marketing this game as a JRPG, quote-unquote. I think this is more so a WRPG, but that's just semantics. But more importantly, the game is a traditional side-scrolling um, action-adventure slash turn-based RPG. That's a pretty big mouthful of different genres they're bending, which I think is a cool idea to bend genres and put them all together and see what you get. Um, from the artwork and style of the game it looks very beautiful. I think a lot of things are hand drawn actually, and they're going to be using like a lot of poetry to develop the plot and actually do a lot of dialogue that way too. 
I'm actually very, very excited about this game because I'm not too familiar with a lot of things Ubisoft has done since Prince of Persia. That's actually the only game I've been actually like. So this would be fun to actually play a game from them that I'd be excited about. Um, so what do you guys think about 2D platformers and side scrolls? Do you think they're making a comeback this year? Um, let us know on our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash restaurant radio. And you can comment below this video. Tell us what you think. You know, if you didn't like the video, let us know. Tell us if you hate the video, if you love the games you saw. Just let us know at the bottom of the screen. Thanks so much for listening and see you next time.